Yeah, so either one of you just want to describe the, uh, the motion on the center cord, the students with brushing the cord, and they're all sort of bouncing up and down. What was, uh, what was that like? It's like nothing I've ever done before. That was crazy. Same thing. I, I mean, I've been here for three years, and I've never had anything like that. Really? It felt kind of good, <laughs> yeah. honestly. David, you talk about that, the hell ball on um, I just saw, I was just boxing my guy out because Kazemi is a great rebounder, so I hit him and then I saw a ball come up and so I was, I didn't have the timing to jump up for it and I saw him come down, but he kind of brought the ball down so I knew I had my hand on it, I knew we had the jump ball and so I was really excited when they called the jump ball. <laughs> he wasn't shooting at that point? He just, he just oh, I thought, I thought he was shooting, I thought he was going yeah, up. Right, right. Yeah, he was pretty good. Richard, what does this do for you guys in terms of this week getting you back into the next season of the league? Um, I think it gives us a little energy boost, you know, getting uh, taking care of business at home, Oregon State and Oregon. You know, it just gives us a little bit of energy going on the road <laughs> this week, and hopefully we just keep it going. This is the first win over a top 10 team since 2003, so you're not far off and say you haven't seen it before. What was the feeling as uh well, it, it was just a good feeling. You know, when we play uh, UNLV, same, pretty similar situation, and they make a shot at the buzzer, you know what I mean? So we was all just trying to stay in tune with the game, not celebrate too early, but just make sure we take care of business until the buzzer sound, just so no slip-ups happen, and we make sure we come yeah. out with the win. It seemed like you guys came out with a lot more energy this week than yeah. in the past really few games. Definitely. Who kicked you in the butt? <laughs> oh, well, coaches got on us a little bit, you know, but I think also as a team, we collectively just came together and I think we're mentally all on the same page and we're just beginning to really just bond and our chemistry is starting to get better. Um, we're just becoming more of a team, I feel like. Yeah, uh, at the beginning of the season, we weren't, or not season, but the beginning of Pac-12, we weren't coming out and we didn't really recognize what we needed to do to win games. And coaches kind of got on us in practice every day and, you know, nobody likes losing, so we're just kind of like trying to figure it out, and then you know, second half against Oregon State, we found that energy, and we trans that translated to tonight, first and second half. We figured we have to play like that for 40 minutes, and not just 20 minutes, and we'll get a better outcome. And I think it showed. Richard, is, is you think your team is starting to take on the personnel of more of a defensive team? Well, yeah, we realize if we play defense, then <laughs> offense will take care of itself. And we also feel like if they can't score, then all we got to do is take uh, care of business on offense and just slow down and not get sped up. But definitely, we like playing defense, and defense wins games. And, yeah. Excuse me, won the game today? Definitely. Uh, definitely. Is that what you were uh, focusing on uh, mostly in this game, Richard? Uh, well, uh, you're re rebounding and defense. Yeah, I mean, I just want to be aggressive, and I figured that if I just have a knack for the ball and just try to get every rebound that I could get, then you know, good things happen. And I think that I think it did. You guys forced 22 turnovers. Uh, how much of that was in the game plan with them playing without artists? Did you think you could pressure their ball handlers and force a lot of things? That was one of the things we talked about coming into the game was making sure we pressured uh, pressured the ball a lot so that they couldn't really execute their offense or so we could take some things away on their offense and kind of disrupt them. So we really focused on really pressuring the ball and trying to make them have to make mistakes. Well, just like as simple as getting your hand, open your hand in and trying to disrupt their... their yeah, their I mean, just active hands and then, you know, Help getting me. up in them so they feel that pressure so they, you know, get off balance, get on their heels. David, what's the ceiling for this team now that you've beaten the team that's in first place? Um, even before the season started, I thought the ceiling for this team was really high. We just had to figure ourselves out and put it together because we got all the parts. It's just putting it together. And, you know, I really think in this game it was shown what happened, like what we can do when we put it together, especially on the defensive end and rebounding-wise. Yeah, it was a game where it didn't feel like you guys played real well offensively. You still get a pretty good yeah, as coach said, we won the game. We shot 35% or something like that. So it's all about defense. Defense wins games. Mm -hmm. David, were you in the, in the middle of the, the crush of the bodies on the, on the court? Yeah, I was. I tried to fight my way out of there so I could, you know, shake the Oregon players' hands. But, you know, it was pretty tough getting out of there. I mean, you got the whole, the whole the student, section. student section running around you. <laughs> How important is it that you not waste the momentum you have from these two games going to Arizona next week? I think it's very important. I think it's, 
I think it's good that we won, and I think we should feel what we feel right now. But once uh, Monday comes or whenever we practice once, tomorrow, Monday, I think it's important that we focus on Arizona and mm -hmm. leave this in the past. Yeah, this, uh, this win and Oregon State, they were really, like, important to show us how we have to play. I mean, Arizona State and Arizona are both really good teams. So if we're going to win those games, we got to come out with the same energy, the same intensity on defense, and then offense will come with that. Do you think you can uh, be a factor in the second half of the, the Pac-12 season as far as uh, you know, emerging from the middle of the, of the back to? Definitely. Yeah. Just got to take one game at a time and keep getting better as a team collectively. And I think we're doing that right now. Is this the best weekend of basketball you think you play? Definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, um, my, I haven't seen my parents in a long time, and my mom came down to see me, so. I was kind of excited, and I wanted to kind of like play as, good, as as hard as I could, and kind of like just make her proud. How does it feel? To play this well? Uh, it felt pretty good. <laughs> I know she has a big smile on her face, and that's pretty much my motivation in basketball.